Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Whether it's your first time or you're returning, my name is Ziggy, but you can call me Glitter or Cyanide. I'm gonna first start off this video by apologizing for the very, very bad video quality and the lack of audio, and I'm gonna give kind of a small backstory to why that is. Um, this adventure kind of begins back in August, August 31st to be exact, which is Miku's birthday for those of you who don't know. Um, I posted a picture on Reddit. It was this picture here, basically asking of the figures that I'd acquired to make videos on, which one they wanted me to open first, and I thought to myself, that'll be the one that I make a video on first. So anyway, everybody voted for the room where Miku, which is the one you see here in this video now. Um, and because I'm very, very good at procrastinating, I procrastinated for about a week, and lucky me, I broke two fingers on my left hand literally seven days after uploading that picture um, so anyway that gave me an excuse to not record for another month and a half and in that time frame my birthday was coming up my sister told me that she'd got me a new gaming chair because mine was kind of falling apart she explained that it had Miku on it but it wasn't gonna be here till after my birthday which you know I thought to myself that's not a problem I could just record my first video on that Anyway, November came and went, December came and went, and it, now it was towards the end of January, and <laughs> the chair still wasn't here, and so I was, you know, starting to get kind of frustrated, and I said, you know what, this chair's never going to get here. I need, I need to record something now. So I built up the courage, you know, I got my table together, got my tripod, got my phone, my camera, I got everything pretty much ready, and I recorded something really fast, and and hastily because I didn't I don't want to talk myself out of it you know cuz first first upload jitters <laughs> anyway so I had it pretty much edited and ready to go the next morning to be uploaded and uh, wouldn't you know the damn chair arrives so now now I have this giant box sitting in my room on the floor taking up space and I'm like dude I need to do something with this box so I, you know, I said, screw it, I'll just record another video and make that my first video because, you know, I haven't uploaded this one anyway, um, which links in the description if you haven't seen that. Um, but anyway, um, so now I had all these clips that you see here and th the audio didn't quite make sense and I didn't feel comfortable uploading like that, not to say that this is a better video, um, but I just I at least wanted it to make sense. And, you know, I, I hope you enjoy the video anyway, and let's get to the unboxing and just kind of discuss what's kind of going on here. So let's let's talk a little bit about this figure here. Um, it's a price figure, and price figures are not by any means meant to look perfect. Um, so let's kind of throw that out the window. And I got mine off Amazon. That I'm 100% sure of, but I want to say it was for $30 to $35 don't quote me on that it was it was a while ago and I, do, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it but it's definitely not above $40 um, anyway for those of you who are kind of looking to get into figure collecting um, doesn't matter what character you're looking for I, I don't recommend buying off Amazon unless you kind of know what you're doing because there's like a 30 to 40 percent chance that a seller will send you a fake one um, and that's just a, a really big hassle because then you have to go through the whole return process and that's if the seller is willing to admit that they sold you a fake one <laughs> so it's always best to kind of record what you're unboxing from Amazon when it comes to figures whether you're looking to upload it or not you know it just kind of gives you a little bit of a uh, proof that it's the package that showed up in the mail and the same pretty much goes for eBay I don't recommend buying from them either because again they could send you fake figures and it's a really big house to get your money refunded if you are interested in starting to collect figures I'll post some of my favorite websites in the description below um, I definitely know that there's other websites, but these are just the ones I prefer, and I've never had any problems with things arriving broken or, you know, being fake. Because <laughs> um, 
no matter where you buy figures from, you're gonna have to have some patience unless they're in stock figures, which at which point more power to you. But if you're pre-ordering, they always take forever. And you have to have patience, especially now during COVID. It's, it's just really painful and I understand, but you can get through it if you choose to. Um, anyway, let's get back to this figure. I kind of want to give it some ratings here and uh, I want to start off with, with the cuteness rating. Um, she's very adorable, the colors mix well, um, her outfit's gorgeous, it, it just works. <laughs> and so for that I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Um, next let's talk about price, you know like I said it was around 30 to 35 dollars where I got it from. It could be cheaper, it could be more, you know. Um, but overall, that's a pretty good price for figures, um, for price figures anyway, and for one that looks this great from afar, uh, I'd, I'd say that's a 10 out of 10. Um, next, I'm going to go with Ease of Assembly, and this one's you know, pretty much straightforward. You get it out of the box, you pretty much know where everything, everything's going. You don't need instructions, which they don't come with. So, ease of assembly, 10 out of 10, as long as you're careful, everything should be fine. Um, now let's get into quality, and this is where it starts to lose a little points. And like I said, it's a price figure, and by no means is it meant to be perfect. But on quality, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. Um, and that's because, you know, the paint bled a little bit on her fingernails and the shading on her hair that gives it that kind of greenish tint it's kind of peeling off and there's some scuffs in it and, you know like I said it's not meant to be perfect her hair her, her ponytails don't push in all the way and um I definitely do advise that as soon as they stop moving stop <laughs> because I had a previous figure that one of the one of the pigtails would not go all, go in all the way and so I sat there and tried to force it eventually snap snap the locking piece off and now I was stuck having to fix that figure unfortunately or fortunate for me I was able to do it not in the best way because it was my first time breaking a figure but you know it is what it is so again if her hair won't go all the way in as you see here in these pictures don't don't try to force it because you could break her. Um, so overall, I want to say this is probably like a 7.5 out of 10. As far as figures go, you know, and if, if you're looking to get into figures, this is probably a good starter one, you know, because you can't go wrong. Like I said, she looks adorable. You know, as long as you're okay with buying price figures, there's definitely pricier ones, but for some of you, I know it's definitely easier to dish out $30 and to dish out $150 plus. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely a great starter figure if you want to work that way. Um, anyway, this is probably the end of my video and I want to thank you all for coming here and enjoying this unboxing with me, even though it's probably not the best unboxing. Um, yeah, and if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe and like it, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.